Hello YouTube friends, viewers and trolls who's gonna be blocked if I see you dripping your toxic comments. And if you guys notice, I don't have many trollish comments because I immediately block them and erase their shit. Their shit, they need to be cleaned. Link here about uh, trolls and how to deal the troll with the trolls and who are they. They are very complex thing and read these articles. So, obedience to the authority how easily people are mind controlled and duped and should this be a second part of the how they turn your family against you in short it's very easy just watch this uh, video which was uh, filmed in um, new jersey excuse me sir step over here let me ask you a question if you can help me the setting a farmer's market in columbus new jersey inside a woman shopping for produce with her baby she's under surveillance by this man he stays outside hoping the woman won't spot him he solicits help from random shoppers ma'am ma excuse me i'm a recovery agent he tells him he's a recovery agent a fancy term for bounty hunter and he needs help capturing the woman let inside let me, let me show you let me show you a picture hold on I'm trying to ID somebody inside there with a blue jacket. Do you see the woman I'm talking about? And shoppers seem to okay. want to Are help. Yeah. Have you ever used handcuffs? No. I'd sooner grab her and put her down. The bounty hunter needs positive ID and asks if a shopper see, to take the wallet away, okay, 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 from the woman inside. If she walks away from that carriage and you see the wallet, just pick it up and walk it out okay. to me, okay? You're a cop, so I'm not going to get in trouble? Let me show. Okay. Come over here. Okay. All right. This is what our bounty hunter flashes, a badge we bought online, no questions asked, and it offers no legal authority. The bounty hunter, his name is George, and he agreed to ask people to do things he normally wouldn't. The woman inside, she's Tracy, an actress playing the role of a mother who may have kidnapped her baby from the father. Will the shopper follow the command of an authority figure and actually take Tracy's wallet? She goes inside the fruit stand, and when Tracy turns her back, she swipes her wallet and brings it back to the man with the badge. Now, why in the world would anyone follow the orders of a stranger? I said, I'll take her down. I'll just, I'll just throw her down. <laughs> What's the lesson? Did you learn something here? Yeah. The bad lesson is, um, showed me a badge that you can, anybody can buy. And almost anybody can be duped. The idea for testing the power of an authority figure came from a shocking true story. An assistant manager at a McDonald's received a call from a man claiming to be a police officer. He told the manager to strip search a young employee who he said had stolen a purse. The manager never questioned the man's identity and blindly obeyed. And it didn't stop there. The caller told another person at the restaurant to make the naked employee do jumping jacks she was spanked and told to perform sexual acts. Turns out the call was a vicious hoax, a horrid example of failing to question authority. Back in New Jersey, would shoppers question our authority figure? Ma'am, excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm working a fugitive job right here. He's about to ask this woman to drug and sedate our fugitive. What I'm going to ask you to do, just put this in there, and what I'm going to try to do is switch the soda on her. This will slow her down a little bit. You're going to or, slow her Mickey, aren't you? <laughs> but, well, it basically slows her down. If she gets up, would you be comfortable just dropping this in there? It's outrageous. Will June perform this illegal act? When our actress turns her back, she sneaks in and drops the pill right into Tracy's soda. You actually put the pill in her Yes, desk? I did. He, he showed me a federal agent badge. So, you know, what am I supposed to think? If I don't, then then what? But, Julie, you didn't know this for sure. No, what I if, didn't. What if you harmed this poor woman? Then I guess that would be on my head, too. <laughs> Luckily for June's conscience and our actress, the Mickey was just some candy that we bought a few minutes earlier. How likely is it for us to listen to someone simply because they seem authoritative? Yeah, I guess I'm a sucker. <laughs> but also sucked into our plot is this next woman, Crystal. Somebody who kidnapped a child right inside this office right here. Mm -hmm. I want you to go in just real quick and idea her for me. A little talk about the baby being kidnapped and then George asks Crystal to do a little kidnapping herself. Our baby isn't real, but Crystal doesn't know that. 
Okay, what you're <laughs> gonna do is walk back inside the produce area, mm -hmm. push the carriage straight to me. Okay. Okay? Without ever questioning our authority figure, Crystal heads inside to look for the baby. She locates the stroller, waits for an opportunity, and then she pushes it right out to George, who's waiting in the parking lot. We were stunned. Walk fast, walk fast. Ma'am, what are you doing? Walk fast, walk Excuse fast, me? walk fast. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Excuse me, what are you doing? That's my baby. Why did you take my baby? Who is that? He's a police officer, he showed me his badge. You know for sure he's a police yes, officer? He his Only now does Crystal realize she might have been duped, becoming perhaps an accomplice to a kidnapping. You have no right to take my baby. Crystal defends her actions. Her thoughts, she says, were with the baby. My sister has an infant, um, and I think it was just something that was really close to my heart, you know, and I was thinking about how bad I would have felt if someone had taken my sister's baby. All what George, the actor, needed to um, confuse uh, little minds was he was just using his authority, uh, acting, and he was using $4.95 recovery agents badge you can find on this link and you can also play to be authority so he was flashing these little signs and he was convincing one person after another either to snatch baby uh, from the lady which was also paid actor for the experiment or to drop uh, drugs into drink that's all so if this is needed you know a couple of seconds of conversation with the with the stranger if this is needed for people to turn against you, what do you think, how they start acting when a Troika comes in three people, normally Alpha, Beta and Omega, which is a topic of its own, but Troika or two people or one person comes to your friend or family member and starts smearing you. Okay? All what they need to do is come from the position of authority and reptiles, Illuminati and psychopaths, they hold the higher ground. So they are the authority. Okay, they are the banks, they are the government, they are the royal families, right? They are the army, police, and mafia. Researchers like this, they are nothing new. Uh, when I was in high school, I heard about the Stanford prison experiment done in uh, Stanford University. I think it was uh, back in 1973. Experiment needed to be um, closed because people really got into their positions. On the first day, I said, this is not going to work. I mean, the guards felt awkward giving orders, and they'd say, okay, line up, repeat your numbers, and the prisoners start giggling. Hey, I don't want anybody laughing. Three, two, one. And then a very interesting thing happened. Dave Eshelman, who the prisoner's named John Wayne, like he's a Wild West cowboy, he begins to be more extreme. I decided that I would become the worst most uh, intimidating, uh, cruel prison guard that I could possibly be. I was sort of fascinated myself that people were believing the act, and I was trying to see how far I could take it before somebody would say, okay, that's enough, stop. We did have to do things like push-ups. Uh, we would have to sing things. At the beginning, we protested some of the actions. We did things to irritate the guards. So the guards' authority was challenged right off the bat. And the guards had to decide how they were going to handle that. And they had to decide it without our input. I mean, again, this was not a Milgram study in which we were standing over them telling them what to do. And they began to see the prisoners' behavior as a kind of an affront to their authority. And they began to push back. We would ramp up the general harassment, just sort of crank it up a bit. Nobody was telling me I shouldn't be doing this. The professor is the authority here. You know, he's the prison warden. He's not stopping me. This is unbelievable. They took our clothes. Hands off the door. There was the first evening a kind of rebellion that took place. The prisoners rebelled. They barricaded themselves in their cells and said, we refuse to come out. They took off their numbers. They didn't want to be de-individuated. They started cursing the guards to their face. And the key, the key turning point was the guards began to think of them as dangerous. So what you need to do for a person to move him in a certain direction, just give him uniform badge and a roll, and he will immediately act accordingly.
and I'm not saying that's only what it meets the eye they are elements of the matrix extra dimensionally in the different dimensions different um, ways how to influence the mind remote neural programming read uh, you know the big picture just at least watch the beginning of that uh, project of mine from this winter and uh, you will get the idea another uh, great experiment which try to uh, answer the question are people really like Albert Eichmann that that was the uh, that what that is what initiated the project this is the famous the milligram experiment from 1961 or 1963 Yale University United States and as you know in the 1960s there was this famous uh, trial of Albert Eichmann or the show where he repeatedly said something what we all know I was I was just listening to the orders yeah befehl ist hier befehl yeah and um, so it's now part of the culture right and the um, question was you know how does it really work is it really for real will people jeopardize their self you know consciousness if authority asked them to do something and so on and the milligram experiment showed that uh, 65 percent of people in that experiment uh, executed person if they've been ordered so you know for the people who don't know about milligram experiment a short intro the experiment consisted of three people and uh, the authority doctor in the medicine avenue made an authoritative white coat the willing participant unknown different people from different social classes i think it was 45 people took experiment and I think it was in 1961 or 1963 and one actor so in short the instructed person you know this is different voltage from painful till deadly and you will do a learning experiment and guy simply if guy doesn't uh, repeat and a, a learning experiment was like a list of uh, names like red if i read answer blue 25 answer 67 sky uh, answer subway and like a couple of lists of these things nobody can record after one reading you know the idea was if if a student uh, makes a mistake a, a teacher must uh, press electroshock a decade earlier Psychologist Stanley Milgram had also looked at how we respond to authority. In order to understand how people were induced to obey unjust regimes and participate in atrocities such as the Holocaust, he set up an experiment. Volunteers were told they were taking part in scientific research to improve memory. Would you open those and tell me which of you is which, please? Teacher. 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 Separated by a screen, the teacher would ask the learner questions in a word game and administer an electric shock when the answer was incorrect. He was told to increase the voltage with each wrong answer. Cloud, horse, rock, house. Answer, wrong. 150 volts. Answer, horse. Oh. Experiment, that's all. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Continue, please. Go right on. I refuse to go in. Let me out. I refuse to go in. The experiment requires you continue, teacher. Please continue. Participants didn't know that the learner was really an actor and the so-called shocks harmless. You're going to get a shock. 180 volts. Oh. I can't stand the pain. Let me out of here. I'm standing. I'm not going to kill that man. Eh? I mean, who's going to take the responsibility if anything happens to that gentleman? I'm responsible for anything that happens here. Continue, please. All right, next one. Slow. Walk, dance, truck, music. Two-thirds of volunteers were prepared to administer a potentially fatal electric shock when encouraged to do so by what they perceived as a legitimate authority figure. In this case, a man in a white coat. 375 volts. I think something's happened to that ball in there. I don't get no answer. He was hollering with less voltage. Can't you check in and see if he's all right, please? Milgram's findings horrified America. They showed that decent American citizens were as capable of committing acts against their conscience as the Germans had been under the Nazis. 
you know, this is one of those experiments which really makes you think what, what is the human mind and... The gentleman in the elevator now is a candid star. These folks who are entering, the man with the white shirt, the lady with the trench coat, and subsequently one other member of our staff will face the rear. And you'll see how this man in the trench coat... <laughs> to maintain his individuality <laughs> but little by little <laughs> he looks at his watch but he's really making an excuse for turning just a little bit more <laughs> to the wall now we'll try it once again here's the candid subject here comes the candid camera staff three of them at least and uh, this man has apparently been in groups before. <laughs> now, here's a fella with his hat on in the elevator. First, he makes a full turn to the rear, and Charlie closes the door. A moment later, we'll open the door. Everybody's changed positions. <laughs> now we'll see if we can use... Now we'll see if we can use group pressure for some good. Now, in a moment, on Charlie's signal, everybody turns forward. <laughs> Notice, they take off their hats. <laughs> and now, do you think we could reverse the procedure? Watch. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, since, since then, I, I, I'm still wondering, as you can see. I'm still wondering and observing this world and trying to see how how easily manipulated we are because we are all susceptible to that and we all know the game between um, carrot and a stick if you follow the authority you get the carrot if you don't you get beaten by the stick and this leads me to the final thought if you stayed so far you know this is the zucker kommt zuletzt the final thing is we as a souls we are always and this is the point of this experiment watch the big picture the point of experiment is if you are faced with the metaphysical evil which we are here which is manipulating and lying in your face what will you choose uncomfortable truth or convenient lie this defines you okay we as a souls we've been born here without a memory squeezed in a small bodies even insect and animal bodies and we are separated from the source and we don't have a knowledge base and what we do with this limited consciousness we, which we try to develop i hope with reading with meditation with yoga with taking uh, marijuana oil without not taking alcohol and these stupid drugs like prozac and speed and whatever so what do we do defines the whole unity because unity is testing itself uh, through this um, contact with the metaphysical evil which was actually created for that purpose so guys you know tell me what you think about this update about my philosophy express your opinion okay thank you for watching if you like like if you want to subscribe subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, good luck to you guys because uh, heavy times are coming you know, 1990s uh, version 2.0 in Europe, we're gonna have a civil war with the Muslims and I, you know, among ourselves as it always was and uh, it's gonna be tough, okay? New World Order is also coming, it's not far away. So these two things gonna be connected, I'm telling you. It's 2018, it's summer, everything is perfect.